Welcome back to my channel. Here I am. So sorry I've been MIA, but here I am giving y'all a fall tutorial. It's something really simple but easy to do. So if you want to see how I created this glam look, please keep watching. So I already did one eye as you can see. We're going to start off by concealing with my NYX Above and Beyond Concealer in beige. This is the best concealer for your eye. I think I think this one is a dupe for um, Max concealers like this. I don't know what they're called, but so I'm just going to conceal my eye before putting all my eyeshadow on just because it makes it more pigmented. Now I'm going to set my eye with my Airspun loose face powder. So setting your eye will just bring out the colors more and it prevents it from creasing throughout the day. So now for today's look, I will be using my Morphe 35F palette. You can see it, right? Mm -hmm. So this palette screams fall. Can you see everything? Mm -hmm. So as you can tell, I'm hitting pan on this one. I might not, I might not, I might just need another one of these palettes, so. But, oh, oh. Okay, so I'm going in with my Bougie Wet n Wild brush, and I'm gonna be using this as my transition shade. So you wanna start right here, not too close by the brow. So the reason why you want to put start blending everything out right here in the beginning is because if you start right here, the more you blend up, it's like going to touch your brow. So when I'm blending right here, I can go up a little bit more and that's when you get the gradient effect. So now I'm just going in with this brown shade and another wet and wild brush. So you just want to go a little bit under where your first transition oh, transition shade was. Every time my boyfriend is recording, I always mess up on my words. So now I want to go in with a little bit of more brown and deepen the color right here. So overall, this will be a simple. Um, Fall look. I don't want to come at y'all with like a Shazam look and then y'all be like hold up and plus we're barely starting fall so I have so many great looks for y'all coming up so keep watching this is your final look I hope you like it no I'm just kidding okay so I'm going in with my concealer brush and I'm not getting any more product but I'm just using whatever was left over and I'm tapping it right here so this is not a half cut crease, it's just like lightening, lightening, you get what I mean, the color. So I'm just tapping it and then going in with my finger. So I'm going in with a little bit of this black shade right here. And I'm going in with a I'm going in with a kind of a flat brush, but it's kind of thick. So I'm getting the little bit, little bit, littlest amount. And I'm tapping it right here. It's okay if it looks a little messy right now it's all gonna blend out so you want to start off putting all the black down here and then bring it up just to get the gradient effect so now I'm going in with the elf blending brush I have this for like years now, now I'm gonna mm. blend everything out but going this way not this way yet 
so blending is key if not it's gonna be not good so then I just want to tap it so now I'm gonna be trying out this wet and wild loose pigment powder Um, I did use a little bit, but look, um, it wasn't. It was pigmented, but I wanted to go in with a gold shade from my Morphe palette. I really loved it though. I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. Kind of spilt some on the carpet, but. So I'm just getting a little bit. So I'm putting it right here where I put the concealer. So now I'm going in with this gold shade in my Morphe palette. Just to go over it. So now we're going back in with the blending brush and we're going to blend this two, this two, these two right here because you don't want to leave this harsh line right here. And then grab my brush and bring it over here. Okay, so I'm going in with the brown. And I'm just going to repeat the same steps that I did up here, but under here. So I'm going in with this. But before that, I want to bake, so just in case anything falls down, it won't stay there. So whenever you know an eyeshadow palette has fallout, you should always bake under here. That way you can just brush it off. So I'm going in with the brown. And just starting right here. So you kind of want to connect what was right here to right here so it won't look all uneven. So now I'm going back in with the gold shade and my little brush right here. And I'm gonna be putting it right here. So now I'm gonna be doing my eyeliner. <clears throat> So always want to look at this eyeliner to make sure you have the good image of how this one will look similar to it. Okay, so I just outlined it right now. And now I'm going to fill it in with my Wet n Wild Mega Eyeliner. So if you can mess up, you can always clean your eyeliner, but like, uh, I was trying not to mess up. So now I'm just going to put on my Wet n Wild lashes and I'll be right back. So I'm back. I already put my favorite. Damn, there's eye. no recording. I'm just kidding. Really? Yeah. I already Adam. put my eyelashes on from Wet n Wild. I already put a little bit of bottom mascara, um, Maybelline. What is it called? The Rocket or something? The Rocket. Something. But yeah. So now I'm just going to go through a quick face routine with my contour and highlight. Since I want to show you how I do it for the fall time. But I do have a foundation routine. So if you want to know how it is, you haven't seen it yet, I will link it down below. Okay, so all I need to do is contour, and I'm going in with my contour palette in Dulce de Leche. Oh, I have scaled that now. Scaled If y'all go look at my first video, I don't know how to say that. Okay, so I'm going in with my e.l.f. This is e.l.f., right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Angled brush. I'm just going to contour these cheeks, so I think I taught y'all how to do it, but go like this. And wherever your ears are here. Ooh, I have a nasty puff on it. Oh, that's not good. So, guess what? Yeah. 
my boyfriend is like so fascinated by how you can hide something up. So okay. I'm gonna contour. So I'm going this way and then when I go to my other cheek I'm gonna go that way too. So now I'm just baking my face. <laughs> so whatever's left over from my angled brush, I'm just gonna contour my forehead to add some color. So I'm just gonna contour my nose with whatever I had left over from the um, eyeshadow palette. But I have this nasty pimple right here, but I'm gonna show you how I contour it. I don't like do it too dramatic or anything, but just to where my natural shape is. Okay, so I'm gonna blend this down. I'm gonna blend it down with the other side that has no product because you don't want it to look too harsh. I don't contour my nose all the time. I'm just doing this because it's a fall look and like you kind of like want to look snatched. So I'm using my glow kit from Anastasia. And I'm going in for, well, for my nose. I'm going to be going in with Starburst and Crushed Petal, right? Crushed Pearl. Oh, Pearl. And I'm just grabbing my finger. So now I'm going to highlight my face. I'm going in with this Wet n Wild foundation brush. But like for me, it's really useful for highlighting. I'm just wetting it. Now I'm going in with some of this. The next glow kit I'm hoping to get soon is the Nicole Guerrero, whatever, how you say her name. Cough, cough. So now I'm going to highlight a little bit right here. Okay. So now I'm just going to take it off, take this off. So you just want to like press into it and like set in the powder and like if it ugh, if it like sometimes I feel like it's too harsh like kind of like go down like that. So like the highlighter makes it look pumping. So now I'm going to move on to my lips because I'm still baking. I'm Damn, I don't know what um, lip liner this is, but it's a brownish. So I'm just kind of overdraw my lips, not like nothing dramatic. Now I'm going in with the Wet n Wild um, lipstick in cashmere. It's like brown. So this is my first time trying the lipstick and I really like it. Okay, so now I'm going to set my face. So what I like to do is bring it down. And then I'm going to go like that. Okay. So this is the final look. I hope y'all enjoyed this simple fall look. I'm actually going to be doing more and I'm going to have more things coming for y'all. So I hope y'all really love this video. And don't forget, I'm still doing the giveaway once I hit 100 subscribers. So thank you to everyone who has been supporting me since day one and who has given me any type of feedback. So I really do appreciate that. Thank you for watching.